engage in a Q&A with you, just a short Q&A, of course. Innovation, investment in talent, governance and purpose. I think there's a lot to take back home with what Mr. Harsh Mariwala just shared with us. And um, uh, request uh, Anurag now to take over. Thank you, Suparna. Please give Mr. Mariwala a big round of applause. Uh, I'm sure as his customary for many lifetimes, you know what we expect a person to go and do other things. I'm sure he'll continue to guide the purpose of Manico and do other things. Uh, he's very great. He's, he's only got started. You know, he talked about the purpose of Marico, the purpose of an organization, the right to win, differentiated strategy, how talent and culture matter, how growth is the engine of an organization. He talked about openness, trust, how failure is important to be able to bring out the best eventually. Um, and he talked about how profit motive is important, but purpose is more important. Now, I want to ask him about something he did not talk about. I expected him to talk about, but one, you know, I once went to see him early last year. In Jan, he and I went to his office, met him, and he had a coach from Singapore, right? Yeah. And I asked him, you know, I understand what the coach does, and I said, why do you need him? And he said, Anurag, I want to make sure that I become with him, right? Now I asked him, so what would you do if you became redundant? He said, you know, I have an organization called ASET and my mission is to create another 10,000 entrepreneurs. So Mr. Mariwala, uh, I know you also have a family office called the Sharp Venture, which your son kind of looks after. Are ASET and Sharp Ventures working together? How are you creating more entrepreneurs? So, uh, in this corporate social responsibility and this personal social responsibility. So what I have done in the area of personal social responsibility is start this one of the initiatives in ASCENT. Another initiative which we talk about is uh, helping patients who are suffering from mental health. So we have a very well health initiative. So these are the two things I started in the last three, four years. We have currently about 300 entrepreneurs based on Bombay who are associated with ASCENT. We just started on the last Saturday. The whole objective is to actually help entrepreneurs learn from each other. So we have created mechanisms where they work with each other in groups and they learn from each other because mentoring individual entrepreneurs, if you want to go in large number, it may be difficult my target is And we've just begun. Um, and the feedback from the entrepreneur is very, very positive. We support that by having knowledge gurus, we have conclaves, we have offsite, we have huddle sessions. My trick. Uh, we have uh, experts, so suppose uh, we have now, uh, we have interesting people who can help you in different types of ways, raising money or in terms of recruitment or talent or coaching. So basically they should have a tap for money. Because most of the entrepreneurs I think they face issues related to talent for people or money or how to deal with family or how to deal with other promoters. And I think this whole system helps them. Fantastic. Uh, because you've done that, uh, you can guide them and show them the solution. Now, the Marico Innovation Foundation is another. It's a part of our social, corporate social responsibility. I, I was there in Mount when you did this year. Now, again, I was at the event and I saw that what you were saying there today, today doing there in real action, had a huge sick. And again, that day you talked about purpose. Mr. Sodhi talked about the fact that they're not here just to serve shareholders and in their case it's a cooperativity. Do you think most corporate CEOs, and I know you're a promoter, so I let me make a distinction, but let's say board CEO leader really walks you the talk. It's very fashionable to come to events like ours and say, and I'm not talking about you, I'm saying in general, do you see Indian corporate CEOs really walking the talk? On the purpose front, yes. I think it just started just taking small groups. I think it's too early. The big movement happening in the US is one of the conscious capital of the movement, which is the book written by Ratsi Sodhi and Jagdish Shet. And they have proven beyond doubt that those companies which are conscious capitalists, and they look at all the stakeholders, the financial performance is much better than other parameters like great companies and some other companies they compare to. The whole objective is to look at add value to each and every stakeholder and not just to share. 
and they proved that those organizations which only look at shareholders, uh, very selfishly, they have actually gone down. So in India to say that it has started taking some roots, it is a long way to go. Uh, I think in brands, many brands have started having a purpose. In, in our case, we have had two brands where there is strong purpose in Shanti Amla as well as Sapola. Where we invest beyond, so in Sapola we invest in heart care, you know, education, and free cholesterol checkups and things like that. In Shanti Amla we support education as a part of the profit. So, and we have seen a big impact on the brand. Brand scores have gone up, and shares have gone up, and the overall brand <coughs> position has gone up much more because there is a certain purpose attached to the brand. But for those, are there many organizations which are doing it on a holistic basis? I think no. Um, I think separately, sustainability has got a good traction now. You know, like a company like Levers and I have started concerning much more on sustainability. But I think purpose is beyond sustainability. I think it is to look at all the stakeholders not just, sustainability is important, I'm not saying that. But sustainability in, in should be a part of the purpose and not by itself. You know, uh, I'll ask my last two questions because we have a huge list of awardees. Uh, now, we saw what you did in the last 26 years of making Marico the company it became. What can we expect from you in the next five, ten years? What can we expect Mr. Mariwala to do? And we'd like you to tell us some things that we don't know. We know about... See, I, I think I have to now ensure that the company gets run by a professional board, which we have already taken those steps. I want the company to continue in perpetuity, okay? So I need to create mechanisms where the company can continue in perpetuity. And there is a book written by you know, as founders mentality. Founders bring something to the table, something to the company. And when the founder goes away, those values which are critical for the future of the organization should be maintained. So what I have done and what I intend doing is that the values, the culture part, the purpose part, the strategy which is captured currently, it may change over a period of time, is actually the board should play an important role in measuring this even if I'm not to ensure that the founder's mentality continues beyond me. So that's one I'm talking about next five, ten years. Another thing I have, I want to give something much more to the society. So we just started, but a long way to go for us and uh, the health initiative, mental health initiative. Now separately, uh, my son is launching new line, just launched it, so I have to ensure that he, that takes off. I'm also, I, as I mentioned, I'm going to start a new business. We I have to keep forward. myself occupied. You know? I, I know it's very, mentally being active is very important for physical. Health. My last question, you know, Mr. Narayanan is there. I had a very interesting chat at the Business World Marketing White. I heard Mr. Sudhi authentic discourse. It was something that is really lives by. Who are the leadership coaches that you consult with, or what are your role models? You know, what does Mr. Mariwala? look at it in the morning and say, you know, I got to learn from this person. I know you can learn from anyone in the room, anytime, anywhere. But are there icons that you look up to, role models that you take advice from? Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? See, I don't have one role model because I have been taking lots of things from lots of people, small, small things. But if I say whom I have talked a lot in my own journey, uh, whom I have I consulted, but who has helped me in my own journey? He treats me like his son. His brother Ramchand. You know, I spent a lot of time with him. But I meet him once in six months, or whenever he's Bombay, he just calls me up and I just have a cup of coffee. Or and we spent a lot of time with with uh, my management team also. But I have I've been with him for the last 10-15 years, and he's helped me a lot in terms of improving board effectiveness, driving innovation, and more on the area process. Fantastic. And final word on demonetization. Is it good in the Long term, I bad in the short term, is it good in the I, short term? I, as you rightly put it, short term pain, long term gain. That's a very safe answer. So, we my, no, my view on that in the magazine. I think now, at least as of today, and I'm blunt about it, looks like short term pain will underestimated, and long term gain seems to be overestimated. Fantastic. On that note, we'll let Mr. Mario go for being candid and honest. Please give him a bigger round of applause than we did. You can stand up and give him a standing ovation. It's again, it warms up the blood in your body. So, for your good. Thank Mr. You. Harsh Mariwala from Mariko, Lifetime Achievement Award winner, IMA 2016.
Christine, standing ovation. Thank you so much.